Oh my. Hi. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's focus in here and. Boys, we finally fucking did it. Dark age. <sighs> you know, I wasn't even planning this video or not, nah, but. Right now, but just in case you're wondering, yes, this is at approximately half four in the fucking morning. Yes, as a plan of finishing over 89 Slayer. At that, yes, got actually really a lot of money. Like, I suppose part of it came from my grinding with the cow fight, queen for the helm, doing a bunch of abyssal sires, and a couple cracking traps, as well, as well as. A very good Dagon of King's trip, and I actually returning to it, and boy was it a good one. You know, getting all this Sears ring and all, but an Archer's ring, which, holy fuck, six fucking mil, are you taking the fucking piss? Oh, I'm like, this feeling of like, oh, dude, I, I just can't. It's oh, this is unbelievable, un fucking believable. I mean, 3K shite, you know that's like fucking red drop table shite, you know as it should be. Lobsters, eh. Twenty bloods could be a lot better, but my god, third age amulet. You know, it may be arguably the cheapest third age, but. There's a funny tale to be told with that, if you remember way back, I think it was the 30th or 31st video and I uh, made on Old School RuneScape in regards to, I think it was, actually ironically, yes, the first Down of King's Run where I rightly fucked it up. God, last boss I do, you yeah, know, but not including Scott, so, which I've been doing, getting the clues from, and that uh, was, uh, yeah, the Down of King's, as if the good luck, it, it ended there. Oh no, it didn't. Man. Oh, Night Love. Hi, Pixie. If only you saw this. Yeah. Might have been a lie back then, but now. Now. Finally fucking done it. <sighs> Let's see it. Yeah, Fury. Nice and all. Give it. Spare one to Kate Foxfire, and that's all good. But this. This. It's something else entirely. Also, there is the weird. It's actually weird because this army is technically the best in slot for attack magic. So it's got a very weird purpose where it's also partially rare, although I'll be at the cheapest, unfortunately. But also. Yeah, it's the best in magic. The others, they don't really have that. Uh, not even like the third age pickaxe or that's uh, from I think the master clues and that. They do not have it. This is technically best in slot, and I'm like, damn. You know, I don't even know what I'm going to do for the rest of the video. And not uh, seeing as, well, I want to try and make a bit of a spectacle. Why don't we? Uh, should we? Oh, should we go for the underground pass? Uh, let me think. Actually, if I remember correctly, there's a bit. Oh no, no, I'll need like a bunch of stuff like rope and uh, fucking arrow and nah. All right, uh, next best thing. Yeah, the, just the previous step, and I'd do that old Vex and shit, and that. I thought it was the one in the the guy in the barbarian and saw just self and uh, by the lake. Nope, it's a uh, Elunid and. Uh, the one that goes between the two spots, and oh, that was fun. But yes, yeah, so indeed, BGS. All right, what am I even going to do? Seeing as I've got third age and all. All right, uh, let's see. I'll get the. Oh, what's that even? Yes, yeah, statistics. Oh, I'm I'm so not prepared for this. And uh, you know it's. Oh, fuck off! No! It, there we go. Bloody hell. 
yeah, get that shit minimized and that out the way. There we go. Where's that right down the bottom here? And yep, okay, so Alright. I guess we'll be making a bit of progress, why don't we? Why don't we go through the the lovely I don't even know what it's called. I call it Elf Forest, but it's got a fancy name to it. And now uh, what's the thing called? Yeah. Is is Avdar? Yeah, it's got a bit of a damn fucking name and that, you know, but man. You know it's funny thinking about this location here as well, considering this was actually like a sort of fame location that I always wanted to visit. And uh, like way back it's Genus 5 in the 2007 eight days. And you know, I never got to see him a second, third, not even my fourth, which has made a good bit of progress, but it was still relatively small at that point, like you know. It's like going evolving from like tiny fry to maybe a, a bit of a, a bigger fish, but you know, then there's all the real big sharks out there doing like endgame boss and that. And that was nothing in comparison. Ah, <sighs> what beautiful scenery though. Fitting end considering how pretty much I've got, you know. I still have to remind yourself, yes, this is real. This is real. You know, I have earned that through and through. Alright, let's see. No, that's a dead end. Ooh, joy. But, right. I suppose one other thing I'll talk before I go into the, the news I've got up here. And, uh, yeah, the whole thing of Dying of Kings, because I've never done them for fucking ages. No, the luck didn't carry me over there. Uh, good thing the poison's not very strong, but alas. So, as far as Dying of Kings, yes, the are of pray prayer flicking. Yes, yeah, certainly it's something that I've been getting a bit of practice with, you know, Zora and other monsters, but to do so in Dark Kings is very risky. And that's especially when you're dealing with Prime Wits fucking It's actually strange when I looked it up and that just the last name, I could have sworn I was sixty, but saying that was fifty, and I thought, that's strange. I thought it was double the amount, you know, like the really bad one. I mean it's still fucking strong as hell, but I guess it makes it a little less strong if it can hit all a fifty instead of a you know, much better sexy, but alas. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, it's like, what do I even say? You know, what do I even say? Oh dear. Hey, it's Kitty Foxfire still on. And uh, alas. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, yes. In case you're wondering here, yes, Jadeen. She whom I added, I believe the same day I got that second best, yeah, second best elite clue now. You see here, 170 hard clues, 13.9 million. I still need to check that on the price as well, just to see how it's, yep, 13.9 million, like that is just unbelievable. I think it begs the question though, will it keep that as it was prophesized or, you know, like all those months ago? I feel like I probably will keep it. You know, as sad as it might be, I feel like, no, this was meant to be. It was meant to be. I mean, you never know, it could be one of those things I just put up in the GE for like 50 mil, and you never know, because the 30s prices are very out there. Like, you can never quite predict them in that same sense, but alas, alas. Anywho, yeah, so the art of prayer flicking, yeah, it's some that if you're really good at, you can effectively pretty much avoid taking major damage, but if you fuck up, it's like it'll just be, like you'll get bam, 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 and oops, before you know it, you're pretty much dead because you couldn't predict the flick sometimes, so it's like, what I usually do is I sort of let them maybe take a shot at me once and then I get the quick bounce so it's like did 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 you know switching back and forth or did did did, did 
you know, that kind of thing. And it's that way it's like, I mean, if you want, you could do like, you know, instead of this, you know, see how it's working here. The advanced strategy would be, this is really fucking risky. I would not want to do it all, <laughs> even as I'm experienced now, it's like this. You know, that way you use almost no prayer, but it's like really risky and it's just nah, you know. Unless you're like, oh, I mean, it's actually probably partially computer running as well on that, because yeah, if your computer's not best, which mine's is decent, but every now and then it fucks up and it's just, yeah, I wouldn't want that, you know, to fuck up and cause me to die, you know, that would be very much unfortunate. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, man. Bloody hell. Who knew a third age army could look so good? Eh? Who knew? But yeah, certainly. I do feel like this is some of that. Oh, I'm gonna cherish. Cherish for pretty much whenever. Eh? Also, oh yeah. This is it right here. Indeed. The famed city of Prifnidas. I believe I pronounced that right. Yeah, Prifnidas. And, uh, yes, I believe this is where the third grammar request will be taking place, so that automatically means that will be, the, of course, the very last thing I do on this as far as, well, if you take a, take a look here and, uh, yeah, 217, like, I'm actually getting and I've got another three quests I want to do before this one month membership's over, but, yeah, I've still got, like, I mean, I'll show you here. Like, that I should have fucking done, but I believe that's like the one that gives you the prayer weapon, you know, you spec and you get like a certain amount above. Should have done that a long time ago. Client friend, I said, is that the easy one? Uh, yeah, that's fucking easy. I'm I'm generally sure I haven't done that yet. Uh, let's see. Of course, I think firing is pretty easy as well. It's. Yeah, generally, it's. It's a lot of stuff that's like. Feels like it should have been done ages ago, but you know. Oh yeah, and that's a shocking one. Tears of Guffix. Not even bothered with that rubbish. And that, uh, you know. And I've still got a bunch of mini quests left to do, but I'll probably round them up right near the end. And that, uh, you know, get all that sorted. Yep. To the crimes and pretty much. Only done it four fucking diaries, but I plan to rectify that, get the desert one out of the way next, and then right after Mortania, so at least that's almost half of them up to hard, because I refuse to do a single leap till I've got all of them at hard, so it's something I want to work on, you know, gradually, like, certainly faster than what it was before, and that, uh, because even, like, the useless ones kind of need to be done before I can actually, yeah, get that sword, also, yeah, holy shit, yeah, uh, crystal what I wonder, does this guy even say anything? Nope. Well, pretty much that's that, so... We'll be seeing more of that... Probably months and probably months for me, that's right. So, do I finish the video here? Ahem, de ahem. Now, you know what, that's what I'll do. I was actually meaning to save this for uh, the next video, which will be... Ooh, it'll be like... That'll be another sort of return to form, and boy, am I looking forward to this one, but I'm not going to spoil it here, and that, but I will say this, it's impossible for me, like, it's the hardest, the hardest PVM content in the entire fucking game. No, I will not be it at all, it's, you know, I'm not even thinking about it, you know, so... Yeah, and before you know, no, I'm not fucking going to sell it. Not yet, anyway. And if I am, it's going to be a very high price. And uh, I think 13 mil is like, nah. This, this is special, you know, and that's all the other stuff I've got. But, yeah, certainly interesting bank. And, uh, yes, yeah, been progressively getting better and better stuff. And, uh, you know, eh, not too bad, wouldn't you say? And, yes, your eyes caught upon this indeed. Oh, this fucking Slayer task, holy shit, I don't know to, and this was just from like, about a th two thirds of the way to, from 87 to 88, 
to like a little bit into 89, I got 54 million. I'm like, what? Like, that is just unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. I'm actually, in some ways, I'm actually looking forward now to doing, you know, like getting to 91 and uh, really making bank. Imagine that, like 4 mil plus, you know? <laughs> like, damn, that would just be. Oh, that would be good. Ah, uh, yes. What a beautiful finish, so. Alright, I guess I'll chill out for the rest. And then, talk about actual news. So, yeah, as far as what's been happening with. Yeah, if you remember the mobile release that got happened, like, ha, what was it? Last year, I think it was. August and that, yeah, old school and mobile, yeah, essentially, what's happened is, yeah, they got nominated for a BAFTA Mobile Games Award, and they won it. A bit controversial here, but yeah, I, I didn't I didn't bother going for it, you know, I thought it was just fucking pointless, and now uh, if you ask me. Also, hello, Kitty Foxfire, cheerio. I'll probably send out that screenshot, and I just took a third age very shortly. But yes, essentially, you know, they've won a bit of war. Didn't really vote for it, but oh man, it did it piss me every single day about it. But you know, good on me in a way. Fucking hell. Uh, but alright, as for other news, <clears throat> so, oh, this is a nice one here. Yeah. Posh pants, or as it always, slushy pants. Yeah, this woman, how can I even describe her? You know, yeah, you know, as far as what happened for the results of that permute, I've rounded down to three people who I think were largely responsible for it. There was, you know, Kaz, I think that was the last female P mod I spoke about the whole issue pertaining to the sack, as it were. The second one, <laughs> trying to remember who it was, I think uh, either Mod Bounce or Mod... Oh, what's her face? Uh, there, was a, there was a fellow Mod Rare, I mean, not like her, Jack's Mod Rare, player Mod Rare, who hung about in Mod Bounces, who's now actually left. Although that's a bit spoiling, so whoops. But yeah, I left about a, actually later that month, funny enough. And, uh, uh, yeah, I would certainly say that of the three, yeah, Posh Pants, the last person who I actually talked to about the whole thing itself, just in general, yeah, it was interesting to find that, like, she'd quit just barely a month after I got Pam Mew, just got sick of the game because of RuneScape 3 and just gave up and actually very interestingly enough that she's pretty much let's see here <coughs> pretty much done with the game as is you know like when I tried looking it up on the high scores and that no couldn't find it at all it was just <whistles> gone you know nothing to it at all and it's just I don't know, you know, like, I don't really know how I feel, like, I think there was just a slight sense of satisfaction that, I mean, generally speaking, and uh, you know, it's been that long ago, and I feel like with the Paramute, it's, I've learned to adapt, be as it may, I gave away almost my time back, but then but I've since became, became, like, stronger than ever before, you know, like, and it's just given me that sort of hope, and uh, it really was skills that was most important, uh, you know, like, the only thing I lost was the gear, not the quests, not the skills, and selling not my beautiful house, you know, also, funny enough, on this day as well, yeah, oh, man, to find that RuneScape Classic closed just a mere six and a half weeks, you know, before it all came back, I don't think it was close, yeah, seven weeks, oh, that hurt, yeah, and I find that, yeah, pretty much, you know, like, I always, I was always meant to, like, way back in 2016, I think, June or July, 
you know, I also made a video about it and that about it then, you know. And just, you know, I was covering more of it, but I never did. And I uh, had all the time to do so. You know, over a year, in fact, and I just never bothered to. And it's, well, it's closure was expected in a way, but I think it was the whole thing in regards to the reasoning was most intriguing. You know, they said it was bug abuse and all, but we all really know it was a financial decision, you know. And such a minute one at that. You know, the whole, they couldn't support it and that because it would look bad on uh, the den. So, uh, it's not tense and that's off 20 years from start, that's a whole different issue. But, uh, Fukong, the Chinese mining company, they ordered the closure. I think it's classic a bit. Well, they're now selling the shares and that to a different company, so yeah, don't know how I feel about that, but um, uh, you know how it is, just a sort of because uh, I feel that like pain and that, especially with that Rob fellow, the one of the oldest players of RuneScape, like I think it was what the first couple hundred players, maybe in the first hundred. Like really, really old, like way back in two thousand one territory, you know, right at the start. But yes, yeah, so. also this included Fun Orb as well, and that's oh, that was another one, you know. Everybody probably has their sort, of, especially around the the glorious two thousand seven era, had their own memories of uh, how can you even say it, the the arcanes, and that, that was like a classic game. And, that's the only one I can really remember off the top of my head, and now there was others as well, but, I mean, this is the thing, I did spend some time with it back as GMC5 and that, in the early 2008 days, but I didn't really spend that much time, and uh, I think by the time I got to my third and then fourth game, I just, nah, I don't even pay any attention to it, because I don't remember it, it's exactly the same, fun orb, you know, and then, Say it to the name and all, and then we logged into that sort of service. But yeah, I guess the year of Java games is now a dying breed. As sadly, it can't be seen in the likes of Congregate, but ah, uh, well. So, yes, overall, I feel I had to do this video out of obligation outside of the usual Thursday schedule simply because this was just like, what the fuck, you <laughs> know. Still always feels just a bit like a dream, you know, like, just to kind of have to pinch yourself a bit to see, like, no, this is real, like, this actually has happened, and, well, maybe a little bit of my RNG in the long run has been dried up, perhaps, but there's been plenty of other moments where I've forgotten Bilshar RNG, like, with Zora, or other bosses, so I feel like it evens out, but... Yeah, this is the sort of satisfaction. I'd say certainly I'm not expecting any more of hard clues, but at least in Masters? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, this is Lewis Wilkinson signing out, and I uh, will see you guys then. Tell folks.